So as you may know, the Tesla has uh, a dash cam that is always recording videos. And uh, as I drive on the road, you know, I see a lot of people making some traffic violations. I guess one of the most offensive ones are running a red light. And um, I see that a lot in El Cajon, California. This is where I usually drive. And um, I was like, okay, so if I record a video using the Tesla dash that shows clearly like people just ignoring the red light and you just just running around and uh will the police be able to use that um to basically uh, make them accountable and i've never had that in my previous car i was driving an old car and um and um now i have this one so uh with the dash bolt in and all of those Teslas right now, they're gonna have the dash camera always enabled. So I can imagine an, an, um, like a huge fleet always monitoring the road. So I thought, well, like that would be nice. I mean, if, uh, you know, if you know that there are people recording you in the back, maybe that will be a good um, incentive to drive a little bit more following the rules, you know, and you, be, you would be more careful not to run a red light because maybe somebody behind you is recording a video and then you will have to pay a fine. Um, the worst case scenario is that person running a red light and then slamming into another vehicle coming from the other direction and hitting the passengers and either causing death or like severe injury, deploying the airbag. Plus, you know, um, the, the loss of the vehicle, which is a financial burden as well. So it, it's really bad, like when people run a red light, it's really bad. Um, so I didn't know what to do. I, I thought like, okay, you know, the best way is to contact the city police and ask what can be done using these videos. And uh, I spoke to the police department and then they said, sorry, can't do anything. Um, and uh, this is how things are and that's it. So I was kind of stunned, you know, I was like, okay, like, you guys don't care, like, about this, or is that the law? Maybe the law needs to change, you know? Um, and I dare to say that because there are some laws that are outdated and needs to be um, updated, you know, uh, following current technology, and, and, and if they don't make sense, maybe they just need to change or go away. And they... We're like, okay, we have this sergeant, so-and-so, that he can explain things to you more in details. And I said, like, okay, you know, just connect me with him. You know, I'd love to talk to him and, and see what they can do. Um, so I talked to him. He said, sorry, uh, as long as uh, it's an infarction, uh, we can't do anything with those videos. Those are useless. They mean nothing. And I was like, okay, can you explain to me what's an infarction? Like, what, what, where is that? So... He said, well, the highest level is felonies, and for felonies, we can use those videos, but misdemeanors, infarctions, we can't. And I was like, okay, so why would a video work if it's a felony? So you can use that as an evidence, but then the same video cannot be used for anything else. So even though it's legit, you know, I mean... That's why you use it for felonies, you know, otherwise, like, what's the point? And it's not a picture. I'm not talking about, like, a red light uh, kind of snapping a picture, you know, if you... This is like a real video in motion, recording the person as they are doing the violation. And uh, so I, what I would suggest is something like a, I don't know, a citizen police, where the citizens are being more proactive about what's going on in their city, reporting people who are um, breaking the law, um, causing traffic violation. And again, the worst thing that can happen is someone running a red light, and they've been doing that for so long because, guess what? They've never been caught. There are no cameras. The police is not there. And they hit somebody, maybe one of your loved ones, a family member a friend, causing death, loss of uh, damage of property, um, you name it, you know. So, um, 
Then the sergeant asked me, like, okay, do you know what in intersection uh, these problems happen? Maybe if they happen in this uh, area kind of frequently, we can assign a police officer to keep an eye on that. I said, you know, I drive around, it's here, it's there, because the same person is driving around the city. It's not like they're going to be only in that section of the city causing the violations, you know. Because I recorded it in multiple locations, and I put all of them on YouTube. So I'm making a playlist, whatever I catch on my Tesla Dash, I'm going to record it, guys, upload it to YouTube, and just put it there. But as far as the police go, there's nothing that can be done. It's just how the law is. And it makes you wonder do, how many people do they have to die before somebody will change the law. You know, that's that's always seems to be the reason why laws change, you know. Unless there's like a, just like this Boeing 737, you know, Max 8. How many people, like two flights have to be lost with so many lives on board just for people to start investigating. And the same thing I feel like with the car, you know, like um, how many people do they have to die or get injured before someone says, well, you know, we have those dash cam videos that people can record and submit to us. And um, so this is where I'm coming from, you know, or maybe the media, the media can bring up the issue like, hey, look at, I don't know, all those violations recorded by the Tesla dash cam and then bring it up to maybe like on a city level or a state level and then um, then things will change. I'm just thinking outside the box. Uh, if you drive a Tesla, um, you're basically thinking outside the box in terms of, um, you know, moving forward with technology, autopilot, um, summon, EV, you know, clean air, all these things. But... Uh, yeah, I would like to be kind of like uh, using those dash cam videos to be of more assistant to the um, law enforcing officers. I think those can come really helpful. Maybe someone can design an app to allow people to just submit those and then the police automatically sort them out and, and process them. It can make also m good money for the police. I mean, hey, I mean, you guys need some, some money too. I mean, that's why you give a lot of tickets sometimes. So... Um, but all in all, um, I'm all in for um, enforcing uh, red lights and, and so forth. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know what's the situation, say, in Europe or Asia or the Middle East. You know, as far as I know from Reddit, they said in the United States, all the states, you cannot use those videos. But I'm wondering if, like, I don't know, maybe Dubai or some other city around the world. Uh, have implemented such a thing so till then take care guys and have a great day bye bye